Hello and welcome. This is Bhaskar Napte from Pharma Growth Hub. And as a part of today's video, we are going to understand how the retention of acidic compound and basic compound gets happen in reverse phase chromatography and ion exchange chromatography. So I hope you will find the video very useful and informative. So let us begin with the presentation with the first point. That is the retention of acidic and basic compound in reverse phase chromatography. So we all know that the reverse phase chromatography has hydrophobic stationary phase and hydrophilic mobile phase. So that is called as the reverse phase chromatography. And we can have the columns like C8 or C18. Now these columns are hydrophobic in the nature. And I hope you also know the rule called as like attracts like. That means the hydrophobic stationary phase going to like hydrophobic compound. And as, as a result, the hydrophobic compound will get retained for longer time. I repeat one more time. Like attracts like rule. Hydrophobic stationary phase attracts hydrophobic compound. And hence, it gets retained on the same uh, hydrophobic stationary phase for longer time. Similarly, the hydrophilic stationary phase is going to attract hydrophilic compound. And as a result, the hydrophilic compound will have greater retention time on hydrophilic stationary phase. So this is called as a like attract like. Let us say that you have an acid which is having a formula of HA. Now this HA, if it is into a non-ionic state, it will be into a hydrophobic state. It will be into a hydrophobic state. So the moment the acid gets dissociated into its anion and it liberates the proton, now this anion becomes little bit hydrophilic in the nature. This anion A- minus becomes hydrophilic in the nature. So what you understand that the acid can stay into a hydrophobic mode and it can convert into a hydrophilic due to the change in the pH. And here is the very important point. The ionization of an acid increases with an increase in pH. That means the acid can stay as a hydrophobic molecule like HA into the acidic pH. The moment the pH gets increased towards alkaline side, right? Slowly and slowly the acid is going to become hydrophilic in the nature. So I hope you understand how the acid stays into hydrophobic situation or when the acid can become hydrophilic. And it depends on to the pH of your uh, mobile phase, especially as we are talking about the chromatographic system. Let us say you have a basic molecule with the formula of B. So if this B is into a non-ionic form, it is going to become the hydrophobic in the nature. And the moment this B gets protonated, if it accepts the proton, that is H+, plus, it is going to become BH+. Plus. And now this is the ionized form of the base. So the ionized form of base is called as a hydrophilic form of the basic molecule. And now let us understand how is the ionization of base is going to happen with respect to pH. And here is the uh, uh, explanation for that. The ionization of base increases with decrease in pH. What is mean by decrease in pH? That you are moving from alkaline side to the acidic pH. That means the basic substances undergoes ionization under acidic pH. Under acidic pH. And we also learned that the acidic substances under undergoes ionization in the alkaline pH. So I think this is very important. So as long as the acid stays unionized or base stays ionized, unionized, it is the hydrophobic nature. The moment the acid or alkali undergoes ionization, 
dissociation right they becomes the hydrophilic in the nature so what is the nature of the stationary phase in reversed phase a chromatography and we said that it is the hydrophobic stationary phase it is the hydrophobic stationary phase like c8 or c18 then it is very easy to understand if you relate this situation with the like attracts like rule the hydrophobic acid or the hydrophobic base will have more retention onto the hydrophobic stationary phase the like attracts like hydrophobic stationary phase is going to retain hydrophobic compound for longer time similarly the hydrophilic uh, compounds like ionized acid or protonated base will have lesser retention time see because the stationary phase is hydrophobic whereas your compound is ionized now it is hydrophilic in the nature and this hydrophobic stationary phase will have lesser interaction with the hydrophilic compound and as a result your compound will have a less retention time so you can understand one thing now the unionized acidic or basic compounds will have more retention time in the reverse phase chromatography whereas the ionized acidic compound and ionized alkaline compound will have lesser retention time in reverse phase chromatography let us now understand the situation into a ion exchange chromatography so in case of ion exchange chromatography you will have the hydrophilic stationary phase your stationary phase will be hydrophilic in the nature and you can have the stationary phases like uh, weak cation exchange wc or strong cation exchange that is scx or weak anion exchange that is wax or strong anion exchange that is sax so generally the cation exchange column carry negative charge and usually they can be sulfonate group or carboxylate group whereas the anion exchange column carry positive charge like uh, quaternary ammonium group or amine group let us say you have a protonated base make sure that make sure you have the compound into a ionic form either cation or anion to have the interaction possible into a ion exchange chromatography unless and until there is ion present into a compound how come the exchange is going to happen so you need to have the ion as a part of your sample molecule let me explain you with the cation now that is a protonated base so x is the base and the moment is accept the proton it going to becomes x plus that is the protonated base now called as a cation and you have a cation exchange stationary phase r minus and k plus can you see that there is a k plus which can get replaced by x plus so x plus can come on to the stationary phase and k plus will go away into the mobile phase so that is called as the cation exchange phenomenon so the cation exchange columns carry negative group usually sulfonate group or carboxylate group so this r minus r minus is what your sulfonate group or the carboxylate group and this gets balanced by metal ion like sodium plus for example so this metal ion will get replaced by the protonated base which is x plus in this example and let me show you the further example uh, reaction so can you see that this uh, k plus is getting replaced by r minus and now k plus is actually into a mobile phase and r minus is actually on to a stationary phase and this happens for multiple amount of time this is called as a cation exchange procedure this is called as what the cation exchange because the cation that is positive ion right got replaced on to the stationary phase and hence it is called as the cation exchange or the cation of the stationary phase get exchanged by the solute molecule and hence it is called as a cation exchange similarly let us understand the anion exchange uh, principles this is your anion 
anion can be what your ionized acid x minus it is your ionized acid and this ionized acid will require a anion exchange stationary phase will require the anion exchange stationary phase so the anion exchange stationary column carry the positive charge usually quaternary ammonium group or amide group so this r plus can be a quaternary group and this quaternary group will get balanced by the ion like chlorine cl minus so what is going to happen now you must have understand that this x minus x minus will get substituted onto the stationary phase and the cl minus will get into a mobile phase and same is going to happen over here so can you see that there is a anion exchange happening anion exchange this x the x minus right is exchanging the position of cl minus hmm? the cl minus goes into a mobile phase and x minus goes on to the stationary phase on to the stationary phase means or the retention is going to happen i hope you are clear on to the cation exchange and the anion exchange uh, phenomenon so the basic rule is what ionization of basic compound increases with decrease in ph decrease in ph means when the ph goes into acidic site similarly the ionization of acidic compound increases with increase in the ph increase in the ph means the ph goes towards the alkaline side can we make a conclusion now or before we make a conclusion let me explain you further again what is the nature of the stationary phase in ion exchange chromatography it is nothing but the hydrophilic in the nature it is nothing but the hydrophilic in the nature and these are the few example of the stationary phases that we discussed so hydrophobic compound hydrophobic compound in case if you have the hydrophobic compound that compound is going to have the less retention into the ion exchange chromatography look at here the compound is hydrophobic and your stationary phase is hydrophilic in the nature so the hydrophilic stationary phase is never going to interact with the hydrophobic compound for longer time and hence as a result it will have the lesser retention time however the hydrophilic compound now the hydrophilic compound will have good amount of interaction with the hydrophilic stationary phase and as a result this hydrophilic compound will retain for more amount of time i hope you understand the retention of hydrophobic and hydrophilic compound onto the hydrophilic stationary phase when we talk about ion exchange chromatography so to summarize and conclude if you have a hydrophobic compound and if you work into the reverse phase chromatography you will have more retention time but similarly the compound will have less less retention time in the ion exchange chromatography the second nature could be hydrophilic compound so this hydrophilic compound will have less retention into the reverse phase chromatography however the hydrophilic compound will have more retention into the ion exchange chromatography i hope you understand the retention behavior of the hydrophobic or hydrophilic compound into the reverse phase chromatography and ion exchange chromatography so the moment your acid or alkali remains unionized you can say they are hydrophobic in the nature and the moment the same acid and alkali undergoes ionization you can say now they are into hydrophilic mode or hydrophilic nature and according to that you can understand their retention into the reverse phase chromatography as well as ion exchange chromatography thank you so much